hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make this uh cream of mushroom risotto i use a total different method to make this risotto and it come out so delicious like it came out very delicious so i hope you enjoyed this video let's get to the ingredients and before the ingredients i want to say you should check the description box below for all the ingredients i'm going to be using i used here okay say check the description okay so i have my onion butter salt frozen mushroom but you can use fresh mushroom as well wine dry white wine for cooking and the rice for risotto. so i'm also going to be using some cheese and milk okay so now i'm going to add my just a little bit of oil in my pan and add one tablespoon of butter inside the butter is optional you can skip the butter if you don't like butter okay you can use only um olive oil so after the butter melts add your onion and allow the onion to sit for two to three minutes and we proceed so after two to three minutes i'm going to add my mushroom you can use frozen or fresh mushroom okay so i'm going to season the mushroom with salt and black pepper and allow them to cook for about seven to eight minutes the mushroom to the other side of the uh, gas now it's time to for rice normally i add oil and the onion before roasting my rice but this time i'm roasting the rice only so i'm going to roast the rice over the heat for three to four minutes only the rice in your pan okay so after that three to four minutes i'm going to add my dry white wine allow the wine to evaporate okay then you start adding your vegetable broth i love cooking risotto with vegetable broth because you just give it that that is the taste it gives it it gives to the uh, risotto so this is why i love using a uh, vegetable broth to make uh, my risotto so i'm going to be using that spoon to be adding it when you're cooking risotto like i always said you have to stay there you don't add water and go you have to sit there and work with it okay so when the first batch of water dry i'm going to add another one and that is how i'm going to be adding the broth into the rice until all the broth goes in inside the rice okay so while the rice is cooking i added water that will be the broth that will be enough so it's past eight minutes and the mushroom is cooked so now i'm going to blend the mushroom to cream remember this recipe is cream of mushroom risotto so i'm going to add all the mushroom just remaining few or just blend everything into my blender and add a little bit of milk and if you don't want to use milk you can skip this milk um part okay so just blend them to cream so after blending them i'm going to set it aside for later use so back to the rice i'm going to continue adding the water into the rice so when the rice is almost like halfway cooked i'm going to add the cream of the mushroom inside the rice, uh, the rice and continue cooking them so this is the stock from the mushroom you don't have to throw them away because they are very tasty so you need your rice to get all the flavor so i added them into the rice and continue stirring them while adding the broth inside it so now i'm adding the the mushroom cream into my rice just use a little bit more water to rinse the blender okay because you really need that cream to go into your rice so after adding them i'm going to continue cooking the risotto by stirring and adding the the remaining broth until the rice is cooked
I love to do when I add all, almost all the broth is to stir them and put the lid on and allow it to stay covered for two minutes, just a minute to two minutes. Then I'll uncover them and when I uncover them, my rice is basically cooked. It won't stay uh, more than three, four minutes and the rice is ready. So here I uncover the rice as you can see giving them a quick stay again and one thing about risotto is that you should not cook your risotto to be too soft here i'm adding black pepper which is optional you can skip it okay so back to what i was saying don't overcook your risotto instead of it to make your risotto to be very soft it's better you make it to be a little bit hard this is the beauty like of risotto okay so i'm just allowing that to stay there for one minute like the lid on for a minute and the guys the risotto is cooked it's not too soft the rice like i said don't make your rice too soft okay because if it's too soft that is not risotto anymore so finally i turn up the heat and i'm adding my parmesan cheese inside and uh, stir everything together guys don't take my word for this you need to give this this risotto a try trust me you will love it i hope you learned something from this video i hope you enjoy watching please give it a try come back and let me know what you think about it and uh, thank you for watching guys please subscribe share if you haven't already and uh, i will see you all in my next video like my son had a plate and a half of this resort it's not a joke so give it a try bye